years upon years ago, I had the idea to do the Odyssey in water. And I ended up doing it on dry land, but I always wanted to do something in the water. I picked myths or stories that would bend to the water or benefit from it or be amplified by it. First thing that came to my mind when we talked about doing a pool on stage was how much that's going to weigh. It's very complicated to bring a body of water into a building. Water is very destructive if you don't control where it goes, as any, as any homeowner knows. It's going to be over 30,000 pounds of water. And that doesn't even include people or the scenery. So where's the water coming from? Once the water is in there, how do we keep it hot? I was excited to come and do it in the arena. It's never been in the round. The space seemed to invite the show. It is the biggest pool in square footage and gallons and everything else that we've ever had. And that is very exciting. We found enough sources in the building to get the pool you know, the pool always has an enormous presence when you walk into the theater, and it has that kind of reality that like a dog on stage has. It's just itself. It's a very good actor. You know what I mean? It just behaves. It doesn't pretend anything. What's really great about working on a project like this is that it's, it's unique. It's an intense experience that's both really funny and really moving. You don't see that. You just don't see a lot of giant pools on stage, and I think when people come to see it, I think they'll be wowed.